we had lost total control of our distribution. We needed help. We needed help big time. And so we got together, the hotel industry did, in many ways. So we did some things by our own, on our own. We did some things as a group. And we refused to cede control as an industry. So one thing that happened early on, Intercontinental and Starwood, within days of each other, Miraculous, I don't know how this happens, but somehow, uh, within a day of each other, we both launched what was called the best rate guarantees, um, which later became the industry standard, where we said, you know what, we're not going to underprice ourselves on the OTAs. The best rates are at our site. Um, we began a huge focus on improving our website functionality so that consumers would actually have a reason to come to our websites and not have a reason to go looking somewhere else because they couldn't figure out what they wanted on our own sites. We moved our negotiation with the OTAs, so the online travel agencies, to a corporate uh, role rather than the, pro the property level. So we can negotiate us from a position of strength. We developed on a very aggressive online marketing strategies, and today this seems kind of ironic. Like, what do you mean you developed online marketing strategies? Of course you had online marketing strategies. But in fact, at Starwood and most of these chains, we actually didn't have anything at the corporate level. We began to prohibit our distribution partners from buying our keywords. So we kind of woke up and we said, hmm, I don't think that uh, Expedia or Travelocity or Orbitz or anybody else, pick, pick, pick your flavor, should be buying Sheraton New York. That's our brand. We need to focus on that. And lastly, we created a pan hotel, pan industry uh, hotel website called uh, Travel Web. Uh, with what was perceived as an industry friend, Pegasus, which is a distribution partner originally started by the hotel chains many years ago, back when the airlines started their own global distribution systems. Um, Travel Web since was sold, we, we built it, launched it, uh, launched it, operated it, and eventually sold it to Priceline, uh, which has turned out to be very good for us. And lastly, we also found ways to work with the OTA more positively. So I want to make sure that this isn't just an OTA bashing, because this isn't about that. There's a place uh, and a time where OTAs are very, very valuable in the hotel distribution uh, network. They'll continue to be. Uh, if you just see uh, Expedia's results uh, last week, you can see they're very much and very profitable, very much a part of the hotel distribution landscape.